Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 30th of October. Canada leaders Indian Minister Amit Shah behind plot to target Khalistanis. Pakistan's Lahore and India's capital among world's most polluted cities. And ancient cities in Nepal and India decked up ahead of Diwali. And now for all the details. The Canadian government has levelled major allegations on the Indian government accusing this. India's Home we Minister Amit Shah it. behind the plots to target six separatists on Canadian soil. U.S.-based media outlet The Washington Post in its report had claimed Shah and a senior official in RAW authorised the attacks, information of which was shared with India's NSA Ajit Doval by the Canadian officials. Canada's Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister David Morrison said to a parliamentary panel on Tuesday that he told the U.S. space newspaper that Shah was behind the plots. The journalist called me and asked if Shah was that person. I confirmed it was that person, Morrison told the committee, without providing further details or evidence. While the Canadian government in past has linked the Indian government behind the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nidja, the Tuesday's allegation is first time Ottawa has named anyone. The Indian government has dismissed Canada's prior accusations as baseless, denying any involvement. Meanwhile, India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Wednesday began his two-day visit to Tawang in Arachal Pradesh, where he will interact with soldiers stationed along the India-China border and unveil a museum of valor. Ahead of the visit, he posted on X that he was looking forward to meeting the armed forces personnel deployed in the forward area. In the last few years, Tawang has become one of the focal points of friction between India and China. Their troops clashed in the region in 2022, leading to injuries on both sides. The visit also comes as the disengagement process between the Indian and Chinese troops initiated a few days ago is almost over in Depsang and Demchok, according to defence sources. The two sides last week reached a deal in patrolling along the line of actual control, considered to be a major breakthrough in the ending of military standoff, which began in May 2020 in Ladakh. Moving on. Air quality in Pakistan's Lahore and Indian capital New Delhi has reached alarming levels, making them some of the most polluted cities globally. The situation is leading to health issues amongst these residents. A report. With the AQI air quality index surpassing 700 mark on Tuesday, Pakistan's Lahore topped the list of most polluted cities in the world, according to Swiss group IQ Air. Air quality deteriorates in eastern Pakistan and parts of northern India in cooler months as temperature inversion traps pollution closer to the ground, though pollution levels decreased comparatively to nearly 300 on Wednesday, residents in Lahore complained difficulty in breathing and irritation in eyes. और बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है लोगों को इससे बड़ा मसले हैं बीमारियां बहुत हो रही बच्चों को बड़े मसले हैं चेस्ट के बड़े मसले हैं इससे तो कोई बारिश का हो जाए सिलसिला अल्लाह ताला की तरफ से तो कोई मेहरबानी हो जाए मीनवाइल अ डे अहेड ऑफ द दिवाली फेस्टिवल व्हिच इज टिपिकली सेलिब्रेटेड विद फायरवर्क्स अ थिन लेयर ऑफ स्मॉग कवर्ड इंडियाज नेशनल कैपिटल ऑन वेंसडे विद द एक्यूआई रफली 273 अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग पोल्यूशन इज अ ग्रोइंग प्रॉब्लम इन इंडिया with authorities grappling to tackle the issue, especially in Delhi, as heavy air traps vehicle emissions, smoke and dust, leaving some of the residents struggling to breathe. Pollution is so bad, the rain is a little bit good, but it's not good, but it's not good. 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 बाहर निकलो के खांसी जुकाम हर एक इंसान जो दिल्ली का बीमारी बढ़ा हुआ है अफगानिस्तान विल नॉट अलाउ इट सॉइल टू बी यूज अगेंस्ट पाकिस्तान तालिबान अपॉइंटेड चार्ज द अफेयर्स मौलवी सरदार अहमद शाकिब सेड ऑन ट्यूसडे एज ही एड्रेस द सेमिनार इन इस्लामाबाद शाकिब सेड बोथ कंट्रीज आर फेसिंग सिक्योरिटी चैलेंजेस दो दे विश फॉर पीस सिक्योरिटी एंड स्टेबिलिटी इन द रीजन 
He said Kabul is trying to persuade Islamabad that some non-state elements are behind the infiltration in Pakistan and stress that it's not the policy of Kabul to support non-state elements. Pakistan has repeatedly accused Taliban of providing support or safe haven to militant groups targeting Pakistan. Islamabad alleges that Taliban-led administration in Afghanistan is turning a blind eye to or actively aiding groups like the Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan, which has intensified attacks on Pakistani security forces in recent months. The Taliban leadership has repeatedly denied these claims, maintaining that Afghanistan's territory would not be used for cross-border militancy. Meanwhile, India on Tuesday at a meeting of the India-Sri Lanka Joint Working Group on Fisheries in Colombo retreated its call for the earliest release of Indian fishermen and their boats under Sri Lankan custody. A statement said India flagged concern over imposition of long sentences and heavy fines and stressed the need to uphold established understandings and modalities on issues related to fishermen. The two sides agreed to meet regularly and continue to have comprehensive discussions on the issues related to fishermen and find long-lasting solutions. This comes as Sri Lankan Navy has so far arrested 462 Indian fishermen this year. The prolonged dispute over fishing rights has been a source of tension between India and Sri Lanka for many years as they share an expensive oceanic border without any perceptible demarcation. The ancient cities of Ayodhya in India and Janakpur in Nepal, the birthplaces of Hindu Lord Ram and his wife, Goddess Sita, are all decked up ahead of Diwali, the festival of lights. Take a look. Nepal's Janakpur, considered the birthplace of Goddess Sita, the wife of Hindu Lord Ram, is all decked up and preparations are in full swing ahead of Diwali, the festival of lights. Locals and visitors to the ancient city were on a shopping spree on Tuesday as they marked the Dhanteras festival, during which people buy jewellery and utensils ahead of Diwali. The head priest of the Janki temple highlighted this year's celebrations to be special after idol of Lord Ram in his newly built grand temple in India's Ayodhya was consecrated earlier this year. जो यहाँ की एक संस्कृति है राम जी का घर बना है और जो एक खुशहाली है इस शुभ अवसर पर पूरे जनकपुर में और ख़ास करके जानकी मंदिर में खूब भव्य से दीपोत्सव होगी और हम लोग भी दिवाली खूब भव्य से मनाएंगे मीन वाइल थाउजेंड्स ऑफ वेमेन परफॉर्म्ड आरती अ हिंदू फायर रिचुअल ऑन ट्यूजडे एट दी बैंक्स ऑफ सरयू रिवर इन इंडिया अयोध्या सिटी अहेड ऑफ दिवाली Diwali is celebrated with great fervor and gaiety all over India as it marks the return of Hindu Lord Ram to Ayodhya, believed to be his birthplace after he defeated Ravan, the demon king of Lanka. Lighting earthen lamps signifies welcoming Lord Ram to Ayodhya after his 14-year exile and symbolizes the victory of good over evil. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.